Well, it's that time. The time has arrived. The day has arrived, or the night is currently about a quarter to four in the morning, and we are beyond exhausted. <laughs> I have been awake since eight o'clock in the morning yesterday. She's been awake since, what, 4.30 yesterday? So she's going on close to 24 hours, no sleep. Yeah, I've been having contractions since 4.30 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yesterday morning. <laughs> so with the contractions starting this morning, we went ahead and called a doctor and we went and got the uh, appointment change, uh, which was originally supposed to be today to yesterday. And we went in and they said that she was still three centimeters dilated. So basically they said, just go home and just wait. But we knew that today was a day. We wanted her to come today. We wanted her to come today. She wanted her to come today. So we're just, getting her today. <laughs> yeah, we went walking a lot. Yeah, we went walking for about two hours. We did everything and anything they said. Yeah. <laughs> Could have caused labor. Yeah. yeah. And you, until later. <laughs> if you think of a remedy, we did it. <laughs> but, the but it worked. It worked. So after we left the doctor's appointment this morning, um, we did everything and anything you can imagine to keep the labor going because we knew that she was in labor, um, but there was a, a period of time throughout the day that the contractions slowed down and didn't hurt as much. So after doing a lot of walking and stuff, uh, they started back up uh, around seven, right at night, I would say seven, and they just kept going stronger and stronger. And together. Mm -hmm, yeah, and the app said, <laughs> go to the hospital, <laughs> go to the hospital. Yeah. So the contraction app that I have, I was, um, you know, monitoring it from that. And it said to go to the hospital, but it said that last time and we, we went to our doctor's appointment, he said I was only three centimeters, but since we went on two really long walks, I, you know, we thought maybe it was actually it, and I had, you know, uh, dilated more, so, you know, we took the chance and mm -hmm. we went to the hospital, and I actually didn't dilate anymore. I was still no. three centimeters dilated when we got here. When we got to the hospital, uh, you know, they checked her out, and she still was three centimeters dilated. But there wasn't much movement from the baby. Um, the heart uh, beat was fine. Everything looked fine. There just wasn't a lot of movement from her. Um, so that's why they decided to keep us. But whenever they said they're gonna keep us is whenever she started moving. So like they had just started putting like the IVs in my arm. And all of a sudden, she like started moving, and they're like, "Oh, well, we could have let you go home. Like, we could have let you have gone home." Mm -hmm. But um, she was she was looking out for us. Yeah, because we knew that we didn't want to go home. The process of you know staying here mm -hmm. and being admitted. So we brought everything inside, <laughs> everything that we have, and it's a lot. And <laughs> I was not ready to bring it right back outside. Yeah, so, no. I'm very, very glad that they said, you know, they're going to admit us. Um, and so far, you know, they said the baby still looks good. Um, yes. She looks good. So far, so good. But them contractions, though. Oh, my God. How does how them feel? Terrible. It is, like, the worst feeling, like, like the worst type of pain you could probably go through. And I haven't even pushed this baby out yeah. yet. So that was bad. She's on the epidural right now. Amazing. Yeah, she got the epidural, epidural going down. You can keep talking, you can ignore me. I'm about to, I'm about to catheter in, so just keep the camera up. Okay. <laughs> That's our nurse. <laughs>
Hey guys, so I feel amazing. <laughs> I um, am so happy I got the epidural. I was trying so hard not to. Um, I first got something called a walking epidural, which is, um, they put it in your spine, but it's different. Um, it pretty much just um, helps the pain about 40%. Um, so it's nothing like an epidural now that I've got an epidural. I swear that walking epidural didn't do anything and I was in so much pain and that was so hard honestly like I did not realize how bad contractions <laughs> could get and especially I'm only three centimeters dilated still and I had the worst contractions ever and they were lasting or they were like every minute actually it was like less than a minute it was like i was getting like two contractions a minute so it was like i didn't get a break at all from it so it was so hard to handle that so i ended up a couple hours in getting a real epidural and i'm so grateful that <laughs> that is a th that there are epidurals <laughs> <laughs> because oh my god I feel amazing like I don't feel contractions at all I don't feel any pain I swear I'm like I feel so high right now <laughs> it's so great <laughs> oh my god I was having a breakdown for a little bit there um, but now I'm great so yeah <laughs> You look cold. I'm Are very you cold? cold? I keep shaking, you guys. From apparently this epidural, um, I guess it's normal to shake after, or maybe it's from the what you say it was from. Maybe it's from, from the, the liquid. What is that called? The IV. The IV. Yeah. It's from the liquid. The liquids that are in my body. <laughs> All the liquids. Oh my god! I can't stand this thing. It gets so tight and it's like every like 10 minutes. Oh, but I will take that over the freaking contractions that I was having. You look so comfy. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> this chair, I swear, I don't understand why they don't like do more for for the guy. Like, you know. I get this half ass blanket. <laughs> <laughs> He's the got baby's blanket. Eliana's blanket. <laughs> I told you to bring a blanket. No, you didn't. <laughs> yes, I did. I ain't got no <laughs> oh, oh, so I threw up a minute ago. I think um, it's because I haven't eaten really, which is a really bad idea. I can't believe oh. I came here like on an empty stomach because now I can't. I'm not allowed to eat until the baby's born so um i got some jello to eat that's all they gave me um like shaking Ugh. but yeah i threw up which was great because you know just adding to this lovely night of being in pain and all that <laughs> it's so tight oh my god you are so lucky you don't have to go through any pain at all. I'm in pain right now. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> he just gets to I'm watch me go pain, through pain. No discomfort. Mm. Discomfort. Discomfort? Pain. You poor thing. <laughs> I can't believe we're about to be parents. Is that not crazy to you, babe? Like, we weird. are leaving this hospital with a baby. It's, but when are we leaving this hospital is a real question. Uh, <laughs> who knows? But uh, I don't know when we're leaving. But we are leaving with the baby. Our baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. it's so crazy. There's a lot I, of things crazy right now. I know. But, wow. Like, I feel like we've been counting down the days for so long. And it's finally here. I'm still like in shock. Like it hasn't. It's not really yet. That beep too. Crazy. Yeah. Turn that beep off. <laughs> so, hopefully, within a few hours, she'll be right there, 
right there, man. That's me. That's her. That's our baby. That's our baby. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't film an intro to this video. I was gonna film us getting to the hospital and all of that, but I had, I don't know, I was I knew I was having bad contractions, but I felt like they were gonna send me home. So I didn't wanna get my hopes up and record and then have to do it again. So I did end up recording and I was also in so much pain. So we didn't end up getting the beginning of the video but um yeah we like austin said we got admitted even though i was only three centimeters um they you know wanted to monitor the baby more she was um they said she was really tired it seemed like she was really tired um so they just wanted to make sure she was okay which was great because I did not want to go home and she was fine. Um, like he said, she started moving right after they admitted us and she's doing great. Her heart rate's good. Everything's fine. So it's currently 4.44 in the morning. So I have been up for over 24 hours now. Ugh, this arm thing. <laughs> so, we are going to try to get some sleep now that I can't feel my contractions and I'm not crying like every minute. <laughs> We're gonna try to get some sleep, right, Beeb? He's wow. already pretty much sleeping. <laughs> Hopefully, we can sleep. I know you're not very comfortable over there, but. I'm just cold. Yeah, it's so cold here. Oh my god. But we will check in with you guys in a little bit. Um, hopefully not too long and she will be ready to come out. <laughs> so yeah, say goodnight. <laughs> Good night. Good night. So they just told us she's 10 centimeters. Yay. <laughs> and they said in about 30 minutes. Yeah. So give or take now. Uh, we're gonna start the process. They're gonna let some of the numbness die down to help her, you know, push more. Yeah, I just, um, they just upped the dose of my epidural a little bit ago, so I'm a little too numb right now um, to be able to feel the me pushing. So I have to wait a little bit for that to go down. And then we can push, or I'll push. You well, know? she's pushing. <laughs> I'll be telling her to push. <laughs> telling me to breathe telling her to breathe, telling her to push telling her that she's amazing because she is amazing <laughs> we get our baby soon our like, baby is going to be here in anytime, anytime. After. I don't got a watch on but <laughs> it could be Yay. in about an hour right? we could be holding a baby girl <sighs> so exciting <laughs> how was it? It was so quick and that was way easier than I thought. She's so perfect though. She's finally here. Doesn't it feel real? Uh, she's so perfect. Seven little bit. Seven little bit. How's it feel to be a daddy? No, I don't think there's <laughs> perfect isn't she I can't believe we made that <laughs> oh, look at how peaceful she is with you oh, yeah. you gonna be daddy's girl huh oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> Look at your little nose. 
Look at your little nose. <laughs> oh man, it's still so not like unreal. I can't believe this. It's... We have a baby. This is a, an experience that's like you can't describe it. You can't compare it to nothing unless you go through it. Yeah. And it's still so shocking, isn't it? Unreal. Baby Ellie <laughs> and Daddy. <laughs> How's it feel to be a dad? the best feeling in the whole world. Oh. There's nothing like it. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Look what we made, you guys. Look at that face. She is so, so beautiful. She really is. She's just like a mom. No. Sally, she looks like her daddy, though. <laughs> I mean, she's a gorgeous baby. Yeah, she's gorgeous. <laughs> Look who we have, baby she, Ellie. She's hiding her face with her hand. Exactly. She's born. We had her yesterday. yesterday one fifty-two in the afternoon. Yeah. Seven pounds, one ounce, twenty-one inches long. She's a little thing. Look at her. She's so beautiful. I can't really see much of her face right yeah. now because her hand's in the way. But. We don't want to try not to disturb yeah, her that we're much trying to right take now. pictures. So I have my gown with her matching outfit. We're going to take some pictures. And it's, what time is it right now? It's about, uh, I think it's like close to 2.30 maybe. Yeah, and we're supposed to leave probably at, we're supposed to leave 24 hours after she's born, which would be around 2 o'clock. But they might keep us another night because she hasn't peed yet. Right. So we they're might gonna, be stuck they're gonna here. They're going to try some stuff too. Uh, to try to get her maybe in the pee. I'm not sure how soon, but they're going to come in and try to do some tests on her to get her to yeah. go pee. And hopefully, hopefully it works so we can get out of here. We really want to take uh, her home and, you know, be home with our baby already. We just we're ready. Be home in general. Yeah, we're ready to leave. <laughs> so tired. <laughs> So we are about to go home now with our baby. I can't believe we're allowed to just take her home. Like, don't you feel it like? It feels like it's. <laughs> I feel like we're, we're stealing, stealing her. a baby. It's illegal, <laughs> I think. Right. Well, oh my God, it's been a long two days now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're about. We're about to be at forty-eight hours. Yeah. But yeah. it's now almost six o'clock. Um, two days being here so we're mm, just... mm, mm. two days of being here awful yeah. <laughs> yeah so we are so ready to go home and be with our baby look at her cute outfit <laughs> look at that so cute oh such a sweetheart oh oh no, uh -oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's cold it's cold outside so we're literally just waiting for them to bring up a wheelchair and a cart for all of our stuff because we got a ton of stuff. Yeah. Way too much <laughs> stuff probably, but it's better, you know, to have stuff that you won't need and then to not have yeah, it. We when pretty much barely used anything and we have like five bags with us. Uh, <laughs> it's okay though. It's okay. We moved in, you know, for yeah. days, so. We, th we thought we'd do an extended stay and a late checkout. <laughs> Yeah. But it's time <laughs> to get God, out of here, though. We are not staying another night. They almost made us stay yes. tonight because she was having a hard time peeing. Um, so they finally got her to pee, and now we actually get to go home. <sighs> we did not want to stay here in those really uncomfortable beds again. There's a bed behind that thing. <laughs> you pull it down, there's a bed, believe it or not, and it's about as wide as I am. It's it's the worst thing you can imagine. So I hope your hospital has something good to sleep in. Or if you're like me in the delivery room, you had to sit in one of these chairs and sleep or try to sleep in one of those chairs. Well, 
I probably slept for like <laughs> 10 minutes in one of those chairs. <laughs> I couldn't get comfortable. It was just. How uh, many hours do you think we've gotten of sleep all together? All together? Um, I've probably been on three and a half. Yeah, probably like three and a half three, hours, probably four hours, maybe. Probably no more than four. Yeah. Since we've been here for two days. Mm -hmm. Like people keep like the nurses come in like every 30 minutes to an hour. Um, so there's no consistent sleep. She slept for hours. She, so <laughs> oh, yeah. We had yeah. no issue with we, her. <laughs> we had four hours. She, yeah. on the other hand, had a lot of sleep. Yeah, so it wasn't like we were up with her all night or anything. She slept so much. Um, but they just kept coming in and do, like doing tests on her, on me, checking on us, all this stuff. It was just so much. And yeah, that's why we are ready to go home. <laughs> so ready. Let's get out of here. <laughs> but now the real stuff is about to start. Getting home with a newborn. <sighs> yes. We'll keep you all updated. <laughs> She's finally here! Finally, we have our baby girl. Look at her. One of the most beautiful babies. Yes, she is. That's a biased opinion, but you know, everybody's got that <laughs> opinion of their own kid. But she's really cute. Welcome to our channel, everybody. I'm Austin. This is Casey. Introducing Eliana. Eliana. <laughs> if you've been following along with us, you know that we've been waiting for this for a long time so long seems like forever if you are a returning subscriber welcome back if this is your first time on our channel welcome <laughs> thank you for joining us we hope that you will subscribe and follow along with us on our journey as new parents and just showing you our lives and our adventures and everything we go on you can expect some you know little vlogs some videos of parenting advice from her from me from us so I hope you enjoy. <laughs> yes, she is finally here. Well, actually, she is now a little over a week old. We are sorry that we haven't been filming um, every day since we left the hospital. Um, it's just we've been trying to take in every moment we could with our baby and, you know, just adjusting to the new routine with her. So life has been amazing since we brought baby Eliana home. Uh, she is honestly such a good baby, isn't she? So, like, she, just so chill and relaxed. Yeah, she's like the chillest baby. She sleeps really good. Um, we started off pretty much waking up, what, I think four times at night. Yeah. Um, every three hours, I was trying to wake up with her to feed her. Um, but now we've only had to wake up twice. About twice during the night. During the night, uh, which is great. She sleeps amazing. She eats good. She's doing so good. Hopefully it, it stays like that. Yes, that's the only thing we're worried about is that we, get, we have too good yeah. of a baby that, you know. It's gonna, it's gonna like... bite us soon, but hopefully not. Hopefully not. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We cannot wait to make so many more videos for you guys with our new baby. We have a lot in store coming up, a lot of adventures, a lot of trips like to Disney, the vacations. There's a bunch of stuff in store for y'all, so I hope y'all can subscribe. Make sure to like this video. Comment if you liked the video. Comment if you didn't like the video. Again, thank y'all for joining us. I hope you really enjoyed this video, and we can't wait to see y'all next time.